Okay, first, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is clean up in here where we got all this dirt and paint and crud. Um, you can do that with a regular wire brush. I happen to have a, a wire wheel on a grinder motor, so I'm going to go use that. So, yeah, hang on a second. And wasn't that quick and easy. Now, not only do you have burrs on the inside, obviously you're going to have burrs out here as well. Okay, and we got a real good digger right there and another one there. Now, the snap ring has to sit flat on this surface. Okay, now if it's burred up, just like we talked about having the burr on the edge of the flange, right, so it won't sit flat on your mating flange, if you've got a burr in here, that's going to hold that snap ring up and it's going to make the joint too tight or you're not going to be able to get the snap ring in at all. So we're going to go back to the file. Now you really want to do this with a file. I don't care how good you are with the Dremel, don't do it because we, all we want to do is just flatten the surface out, okay? And we're not even interested really in, in removing material. We just want to get those burrs. So just kind of with no more really than the weight of the file, We're going to file that across until the whole surface is uniform and flat. Okay, and we're actually going to put the snap ring on this way, but then we're going to swing it around. We're going to actually push it around the cap. So we, we've got all this bearing surface here for a snap ring. It doesn't make any sense to put it in this way and only have it being held by a couple of centimeters on each side. So we're going to clean this up so that can sit in there nice and flat. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're not aggressive. Like I say, it's easy to take material off. It's a real pain in the ass to put it back on. Okay, that's it. Now, one, one more feel. Around in there, make sure you got all your burrs. And it's all nice and cleaned up. And now we're going to do the same thing to the tube yoke on the actual drive shaft.